It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Hello, and welcome to Nightline. I'm Madeline Turtledove, and I've got a special expose tonight about how the economic downturn is affecting the monsters of this world in our very special Halloween edition. I'm here today with the Wolfman. Wolfman, how have you been? It's been harder lately. I understand. Can you go into detail about how the economy has affected your day-to-day life? Well, after I kill and maim and eat somebody, usually I rifle through their wallet to get the extra money, Uh some credit cards, but lately the I don't know what it is. They don't have as much money. They don't have as much. The credit cards don't have the credit line they used to. Yeah. It's really had an effect on uh, on on my personal appearance. I don't know if you can tell. Yes, you do have quite the odor. You know, it's the odor. And what I really miss is buying the really nice uh, conditioner for my fur. Like, mm-hmm. look, feel, feel my arm. Yeah, I don't care to touch it as it does look quite matted. It is matted, and, and I do have, I've, for some reason, I've got this fishy smell all over me. I don't, I don't eat fish, but I, I smell fishy. Madeline Turtle Dove here again, and now I'm sitting with the mummy. Mummy, glad to have you. <coughs> Hello. Um, I'm happy to be here to talk to you. Yes, thank you for taking your time. Um, <coughs> I can't help but notice you seem <coughs> thinner. You seem unwell. What can uh, you tell us about how the economy has affected your life? Well, first off, we are, it's a lot dustier down here because we can't afford to get the house cleaners to come in oh, or the tomb mm-hmm. cleaners, I guess. Mm, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <coughs> And uh, I'm feeling a little emaciated because I had to switch from two-ply to single-ply to save on money. Madeline Turtledove here again with you. And now we're sitting with Leatherface. And Leatherface, I've got to tell you, there's something about you that seems less intimidating than Mm. I'm used to. Can you talk to me about what's going on? Well, with the price of gasoline going up as much as it has, I I just can't afford to have the chainsaw on all the time. Ah, understandable. Mm -hmm. It's really made slashing really difficult because teenagers just don't take you as serious when... uh, chainsaw is and on and you put it over your head and do one of these vroom 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 Dracula thank you for flying in to be with us tonight um, it's a pleasure to speak with you very good to be here talking to you so can you tell me you know, as yourself, as a vampire, vampires are very popular right now. So I'm wondering what kind of effect, if any, the current economic situation is having on your life. Well, we, Draculas and vampires in general, uh, we drink blood to substantiate our bodies with nutrients. Uh Do you understand? Yes, absolutely. I watch True Blood. I know how it works. Yeah. But uh, the problem is the uh, people are not eating very good food anymore. A lot of fast food. Oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So when I go up to suck their blood, it's like, bleh. Oh, well, understandable. A lot of chemicals and hormones. Um, has that affected you financially as far as your medical care for yourself? Well, yes. I'm now on a statin because my cholesterol is through the roof.
Madeline Turtledove here, coming to you live outside the Florida Everglades, where I have the pleasure of speaking with Swamp Thing about how the economic downturn has affected his life, as it has most of the monsters in today's society. Mr. Thing? Uh, hi, Madeline. Hi. It's pleasure, a ple- to, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's I'm a huge online. fan. I watch you on a weekly basis. Wonderful. I really appreciate that. So could you go into detail about how the fallout of the economy has affected your daily life? Well, I don't really care much about the economy, but my swamps keep drying up. I'd like to actually, if possible, open the dialogue about climate change. 